My last video was on how to build one of these, a little Wyoming satellite that can be used to bring a voice assistant you control into your smart home. But we didn't really talk about how to set up a local assist pipeline, and that is an important piece, no matter what voice assistant hardware you go with. So if you're still unsure on how to set up a local assist pipeline, I'm gonna break it down for you in this video, so you can automate some boring stuff. Uh, with your voice. Okay, the great thing about voice in Home Assistant is that you get to be in charge of where your data goes, and the Assistant Pipeline is how you do it. This video assumes you're already running a version of Home Assistant with the add-on store. If you're not, you can still install the add-ons, but they may require more steps than what I've documented here. I'm gonna do this on a Home Assistant Yellow, just so we can do it from scratch. But we will flip back to my production system to show off how it all works, since my current Voice Assistant boxes or point it there. To see your current local assist pipeline, head to settings and choose voice assistant. You might see something like this. By default, we have this one up here labeled home assistant. If you click on it, you'll see you have some options. Configuration at the top is just the name for this pipeline. Conversation agent here will most likely stay home assistant, at least in the beginning. This is what takes the text from your speech-to-text choice below and determines what Home Assistant should do. For speech-to-text, if you're subscribed to Nabucasa, you have the option to use Home Assistant Cloud for this. This is what will be handling the translation of your verbal commands into actual text, so the conversation will understand the command. But I'm going to show you how you can do this on your local Home Assistant instance using Faster Whisper. Text-to-speech is what handles translating any response back into a voice. Again, if you subscribe to Nabucasa, you can use the Home Assistant Cloud. But you can do this locally as well using Piper. And just a quick side note, your text-to-speech engine will create an mp3 audio file using the voice you selected. This may not sound important, but if you have ever wondered why some text-to-speech engines won't work with some speakers, this is most likely the reason. Home Assistant needs to be able to play that MP3 on a speaker. And in most cases, that means the media player has to be integrated locally, like the Google speakers, the Sonos speakers, or the VLC integration. And that means you would not be able to use the Amazon Echoes because you can't cast an MP3 to those devices locally. And playing an MP3 requires using the Amazon API and a specific bitrate. And lastly, WakeWord. This is how you'll trigger this pipeline. And again, this can run locally. Anyway, let's install some add-ons and get started with this. First, let's install Whisper. This is a speech-to-text engine. Again, this is what will convert your voice into text that Home Assistant can understand. And in this case, a version of Whisper called Faster Whisper was built specifically to run on hardware like the Pi 4. We're going to head to the add-on store, find Whisper, click on it, and then click on Install. After a couple of minutes, it should be done. If you're running something more than a Pi 4, you could go to Config and choose a larger model, which will be more accurate. But Tiny Int 8 is the best you will get on the Pi 4. And make sure your language matches the language you'll be speaking in. Once you've made any changes you want, you can click Start. Once it's started, head over and check the log. Hit Refresh a couple of times and make sure everything has started. Next up, let's install Piper. Piper is a text-to-speech engine and it runs on your Home Assistant instance. Because it doesn't have a lot of power, the voice doesn't sound as good as the cloud counterparts. Hello, I am Piper. You can play any text on any supported media player and keep it completely local. But if you want to keep things local, this is what you want. You can find it in the add-on store and click install. After a couple of minutes, it will be done. This one has a few more config options. The top one is the voice it will use by default. I would leave it as is for now and hit start. Once it has started, you can head over to the log and hit refresh and make sure everything started. Next up, 
Let's install Open WakeWord. And last, the Open WakeWord add-on. Find it in the add-on store and hit install. After a couple of minutes, it will be done and we can check out the config options. I would leave these as default to start with as well. So go ahead and start this add-on. And like the others, head over to the log, hit refresh and make sure everything started and is looking good. Now, it goes without saying, I'm not an expert in this stuff. I am running Home Assistant OS on all of my current devices. If you're running a different version of Home Assistant, you may have different steps in order to get all of these running. And I can't promise they'll all work on all of the different ways you can set up Home Assistant. That said, if you run into any problems, don't be afraid to drop a comment or jump into the Slacker Labs Discord. If I don't know the answer, I hope you find someone that might offer more information than I can provide. Anyway, we still have some integrations to install. Before we can jump back into the voice assistant configuration, we need to install the integrations. In fact, if you head to the integrations page, you should see some options that have been discovered. Like this Wyoming one. Go ahead and click configure. And then it's done. Next, find Piper. Click Configure here. And it's done as well. And then open WakeWord. Click Configure. And it's done. If all is as it should be, you should now have a Wyoming protocol integration with three devices. And those three devices will be Faster Whisper, Open WakeWord, and Piper. Now it's time to put it all together. Head back into that voice assistant option in settings. You can click add assistant or click the home assistant one, which when you choose doesn't really matter. This name really doesn't have any purpose other than to help you differentiate between different pipelines that are built for different purposes. One day we might even be able to have the pipeline be used for different commands. Right now they're all tied to devices. Conversation agent will stay the same for now but in speech to text, you will now have an option for faster whisper. Be sure to set your language you'll be speaking in. Text to speech, you can pick Piper. Pick the language here and the voice you wanna use with this pipeline. And then wake word. You can train your own wake word, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. For now, just pick one of these that you like, then hit update. And now you have a local assistant pipeline. The next step is to add some of these, or maybe some of these. But once you've added one of these or one of these, you can head over to your integrations panel and you can set it up to use your new pipeline. Now that's pretty much it for this video, but I wanted to take a moment to show you how to make sure that all of this is working and to show you that it is working locally. First, Piper. On my phone, I'll pull up the Home Assistant app. We'll head over to Media. We'll click Text-to-Speech. And we'll click Piper. Here, we can pick our voice. And down at the bottom, we can pick our speaker. And I'm going to pick this studio speaker because it's the one here. And now, I can click this Say button. You can play any text on any supported media player. And there you go. Piper is playing on my Google Home here in the studio. Again, it's running local on my HA instance. There's no cloud involved when using Piper. And we can also test the faster whisper. So now, if we head over to the add-on store, we scroll down to whisper, and we go to log, we're going to test it we're going to test it with this little guy right here. And I'm going to say, Hey Jarvis, what time is it? We're going to hit refresh and you can see that it saw my command in the log, which is perfect. 
Master Whisper on the Pi 4 does respond slightly slower than it does with Home Assistant Cloud, but it's not too bad. Okay, now that you have your local Home Assistant pipeline set up, when you add a Wyoming satellite or one of the ESP Home versions, you can choose your pipeline. One day, we might even get the ability to have one satellite and be able to trigger different pipelines using different wake words. If you want to know how to set up a Wyoming satellite for around $50, check out this video and keep automating the boring stuff. If I don't know the answer, I hope you find someone that might have more offer. If I don't know the answer, I hope you find someone that might have more off. Well, off. God. If I don't know the answer, I hope you find someone that has more. Ugh. Good God, man. It's going to be one of those days. If I don't know the answer, I hope you find someone that might have more off. Holy sh. <clears throat>